Hi, this is Gary, and welcome to my Pens in Use for October 2020. This is the first time I've done this type of video, which is why it's a little bit late in the month. But I've discovered over the past few weeks, I've had about 20 pens in tub. And as a result, I've not been using them. They've just been sat there in their tub. What I've done is a few weeks ago, I've ordered a 10 pen sleeve, which I'm going to then be using to hold my pens that I'm going to be using each month. So I thought, what a brilliant way of getting a video out by deciding the nine pens that I'm going to use. And that will then leave one slot in that sleeve for the sacrificial ballpoint pen. So join me down on the mat and we'll have a look at the pens that I'm going to be using and the inks that I've picked to use in them for this month. So here we are down at the pad. The pad that I'm using is made by Oxford and it uses the optic white paper. This is a B5 note pad and it's given me enough space so I can list out my nine pens and then I'll have my pen details here. Then at the end of the month, we're going to come back and give them a score and I'm going to use this column here to record the score so that in future months, I can come back and look at how well I thought each pen was in each month. So the first pen we're going to use is the Moon Man M800. So here it is. This one is in amber and it's got a Bok nib. In this pen, I've got Colorverse Martian for my ink. Ignore the black numbers here. That's just so I know what number vial it's in. So this is a nice brown ink. And I will be honest with you, before I started using it, I didn't think I'd like brown inks, but it really grows on you. And I've come to find this is one of my favorite inks to use. So let's have a look at how it writes. So we've got the Moon Man, M800, and that's got the Bok nib. And just for clarity, because I've got a number, it's the amber pen. The ink, Colorverse, Martian. So there's a little bit of a smudge test. Beautiful color, I really like this pen. The next pen, well, it's another Moon Man M800. This time it's in the green. The difference between the two is the amber pen has got a bot nib, whereas this one has got the standard Moon Man nib. And you do pay extra for that bot nib, so it's worth bearing this in mind when you're purchasing a pen. In here, I have got Pilot Irishizuka, hopefully I haven't mispronounced that, Shin Ryoku. Now I like green, I will be honest, and this is just a nice bright green color. It's one of the first inks that I bought because, well, it's green. And I thought, well, it really goes well with the green of this pen. So again, let's do our writing sample. So it's, again, it's a Moon Man. M800 with a Moon Man nib and it's the green one. The ink, as I said, is Pilot So there we go, the Pilot ink. Again, let's just have a quick look at a smudge. A little bit drier ink, but that could also be a result of the Moon Man nib. Pen number three for this month is this one. So this is a Jinhao 100 Centennial. It's in the blue coloring. I've only had this pen about a week, so I'm still getting used to it. In here, I've got an ink from Robert Oster and it's Robert Oster's Great Southern Ocean. Beautiful shading in this, look at the color. It's not a blue as in a school blue. It's got that nice bit of coloring in it. It's got that nice bit of attractiveness to it. So we've pulled that to one side. And again, let's do our writing sample. So we've got a 
Jin Hao. 100. And it's a centennial. I'm just going to put cent. It's a medium nib. The two moon men nibs, they were both fines. And I'm going to call this the blue one. Again, I've got a couple of different types of Jin Hao 100s this week. The ink. Robert Oster. Great Southern Ocean. Once again, we'll do our test of a smudge. Medium nib, so obviously we're getting more ink come out onto the paper. But again, I just love the colour of this. It's not that traditional blue that you expect. Our fourth pen. It's another Jinhao, another Jinhao 100. This time the pattern is called Meteorite. I just liked the look of this pattern when I was ordering it. I ordered this and the blue together, so I'm still getting used to them. And next month I will be doing a showdown between the two pens. In here, I've got Robert Oster Cosmic Swirl. I thought, well, since the pen's called Meteorite, we might as well use a cosmic type name for the ink. This to me, it's a little bit light for what I like. There's not as much saturation as what I like to see in a lot of my inks, but it's something different to try. So we'll go again with our writing. So it's a Jin Hao. 100. Centennial. With that medium nib. And this one, it's Meteorite. When you actually see the writing, it doesn't look as pink to me as it does when I'm seeing it on that swatch. So the ink, Robert Oster, Cosmic Swirl. So now there is a little bit of shading in here. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. So we've got that lighter bits of writing and then it goes into that darker bit. I really like the look of this. Again, we'll do a test. Nice and wet, a bit like all the rest, really. Pen number five. This one is my unusual pen. So this one, it was bought at Fremantle Market. There's a gentleman there. He's been there a lot of years, and he handmade makes these pens. The colouring is what he does is he takes local Australian minerals, he mushes them all up, and then mixes them with resin, and that's what gives the pen this unique coating. It's got lots of different coatings and really it's a nice pen. I've, it's another one. I've only had it about a month so I'm still really starting to get used to it but yep another nice pen. In here I've got Pilot Urashizuka Yamabuda so a nice saturated color because as I say I do like that deeper colorings. A writing sample so I'm just going to call this a Fremantle handmade pen. And it's got a medium nib. The ink, it is the Pilot. Yamabuda. Love the colour. Nice pen to write with, nice colouring. This is one where I, as, as I say, I'm still playing around with it. There will be a showdown coming up in the next few weeks about this pen. Pen number six. So this pen is one, I only received it last week. It's a Pen BBS pen and it's the Pen BBS 467 in Corderite. This has got a fine nib. Uh, I'm still getting used to this. As I say, it only arrived last week. I did try a grey ink in it, but I found, well, it just didn't write with that ink. So I had to change inks. So the pen itself is Pen BBS 467. And it's the Cordurite with a fine nib. Now this pen, it's a magnetic filler. 
I'm going to go into more detail on this one next month when I do a showdown with it because the filling me mechanism, well, it's quite unusual. The ink, so this is a Colorverse ink and it's called Supernova. Beautiful blue colour. It's not quite a sky blue, but it's one that I really, really like. Our smudge. Again, you can see nice wetting. Pen number seven. This one is one of my older pens. So this is a Twisby. That's a Twisby 580. And this has got an extra fine nib. I just love the clear pens. I love the demonstrator pens. I think the flexibility of the inks you can put in it, but also when you can see the ink swirling and the little bits of color within there, I really like that. In here, I've got another Robert Oster ink. I've got Robert Oster Tranquility. So this is this bluey green type of color. It, it's another one where it's a different color. It's unique. It's not the standard blue or black that everybody else has. So our ink, Robert Oster, Tranquility. Do a smudge. So we're nearly there. Two more pens to go. The next two ben pens are both by the same company, which is Hongdian. The first one is the Hongdian. 525 and this has got a small bent nib I mean look at this it's such a small pen we'll put the lid on I'm just going to fetch in that first M800 just for a quick comparison look at how much thinner it is it's a cartridge converter pen uh, but it's really nice it's really smooth in here I've got some Van Diemen ink and it's called Apple Island Green. It's this beautiful, really nice green ink. And as I said earlier, I like green. So let's have a, a little bit of writing again. So we've got Van Diemen, Apple Island Green. There's our smudge. The last pen, yep, another another Hong Dian. What I'm going to be doing is next week, I'm going to be doing a showdown between these two pens where I compare the two and give my comments on both of them. So this one is a Hong Dian. It's part of the Black, Hor Black Forest line, but it's called the Light of Herb. And this has got a fine nib. Absolutely love this pen. Looks really nice. One of the things I really like about it is the blue nib. So it's blue all the way through. I mean, what else can you do with a blue pen but put in a blue ink? So in there, I've got a new noodler ink and it's Navajo turquoise. Again, it's that different shade of blue. So we've got noodlers. Navajo turquoise. And there's the smudge. Let me just fetch all the pens back in, line them all up. Squeeze them in so I can get them all in the camera. So there we have it. They are my nine pens that I'll be using for the rest of this month, along with the nine different inks that I'll be giving a try as well. So thank you for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've hoped you've seen a pen or an ink that is different than you would normally use. 
If you've liked this video, please give me a like. Please comment. Drop down there. What pens are you using this month? What inks are you using? How do you decide which ink and which pen go together? I'd love to hear how people are doing that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you get the latest videos as I release them. And I'll talk to you again in a few days.